then this other one which is a <laughs> this other clip which made me think about because obviously i'm really looking forward to going back to gyms so i think i've made it, mentioned that a few times on here um and but a part of me is also yeah I've always, I'm, I'm i'm excited don't get me wrong right but obviously a part of me is a bit you know worried because of course face masks and shops are going to be mandated on the 24th but gyms are open on the 25th what's going to happen you know whatever does that mean we have to wear a mask when we go to the gym that's going to be a bit awkward um also you know enclosed areas such as the gym are the you know they're basically the breeding ground for respiratory uh, virus such as COVID-19 as proven in other cases around the world um gym, gym that I go to mentioned previously doesn't really have any um windows or anything it's just a air conditioning unit they don't necessarily open windows it's sort of like the same way they have windows don't get me wrong but they're sort of set up in the same way that they are in a hotel they're just like kind of a decorative thing or maybe a way to kind of insulate the building but you can't necessarily open them any way shape or form so would they change that and make them um open because i'm sure they have some sort of seal that they can break um loads of questions but just in general i know that you know gyms already are a bit of a hit and miss place to go to in terms of like etiquette like you know where you put do you put your weights back do you put your plates back um do you put back the bar um do you ask people if they're finished on their machine or you just wait and you know like a gentleman and hold hope they finish soon um you know people that um excessively want people to spot them and stuff it's a whole little weird ecosystem right it's a whole little kind of it's own little world you have to sort of navigate and one of the things that's um always kind of really confused me is the people that are um that are annoyed when you drop your weights i've never really understood that i can understand no i understand if you get, get annoyed but i don't understand the compulsion to come over and tell that person off or get into some sort of verbal disagreement or whatever that's the weird one i remember it happened to me once in the gym um and this lady you know bless her heart she went directly to the person that was kind of managing the floor at the time and just sort of like snitched and said hey that guy over there is dropping the waist and i kind of only noticed last minute because someone pointing and doing that whole like you know that whole like um entitled white woman thing where sort of like shake their head and put their hands on their hips um, and i looked up i was like what's going on there I took out my headphones and of course as i as it came over the guy was like you know she was shouting oh man he's making too much noise, too much noise. and i just you know you just sometimes when you're just so i guess when you're in the gym because that's the best thing about it you get you're obviously surrounded by people but you're so locked into what you're doing you're not necessarily paying attention to anything around you so i had to kind of took me a couple of minutes to sort of like gauge what the deal was i didn't understand what the issue was I was like looking around what did i do did i take something is something on me like i don't know I'm just trying to figure it out i was like oh the weights and then we then she started shouting at me and i just didn't have anything more to say i was just you know you just get caught sort of guard you don't have an argument so i just put my headphones back in and just started lifting again I just completely ignored it and carried on. It was probably the best response at the time, but I can't take any credit from it, credit for it. I didn't, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't like, you know, oh, I want to stick something, you know, I want to stick a middle finger up in her face and not answer it back. I just didn't have the, I didn't have the energy. I guess I'm working out. Um, I'm all hot and sweaty, covered in, you know, weightlifting chalk. The last thing I want to do is get into a slanging match with somebody because they think I've dropped the weights too loud. I mean, I might, I might have, I don't know. Maybe I did, I didn't, but, the compulsion to come up to somebody and tell them that in the gym is really strange. I never really understood that. It's a very, very odd thing. It's a particular type of person I'll do. And again, I really would like to understand what is the issue. Because if you're in the gym, right, you're not going to be in there forever. You're going to be in there for maybe what? Minimum, let's say 40 minutes, maximum two hours to be, to be, to be kind of uh, generous, maybe an hour and a half. If someone's dropping their waist loudly, just move somewhere else or do like everyone else does and bring your headphones. There's not a gym I've been to unless it's a CrossFit box, right? That has good music. They don't exist because CrossFit boxes, at least they, they're able just to plug in their Spotify and just like whack it on the system and play whatever. I think commercial gyms have a lot more hoops to jump through. But most gyms play terrible music or they don't play anything at all. Some gyms are just like, you don't want to play anything. You just bring your own stuff. But everyone brings headphones. No one does, especially women. Women always bring headphones because they just don't want to be, a, uh, um, they don't want to be annoyed, right? But everyone brings headphones, so just bring headphones and plug them in. And if you're, if it's too loud, still move somewhere else. They need to come over to somebody and kind of tell them off. It's strange, and this video kind of exemplifies it. It's an old school one anyway, but it just got me thinking about what's gonna happen. When I go there. So it's a guy basically deadlifting in the gym somewhere in America. I think it might be. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a global chain gym. It's got, you know, the signature blue and yellow colouring. 
and an absolute psycho comes across and basically tells him off. All right, he's dropping away, so standard, and he's he's being he's being an actual good dude. I'm not sure if that's a platform, but he's actually got um, mats on the floor to sort of like absorb some of the shock. And it's still an issue. Another good death flip. No. And the guy rages off. Here he goes. Where is he? He's coming. He's coming. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come over. Where is he? Is he there? There he goes. He's coming. Now. There he goes. There he is. Look. He jumps. Rages over. He walks up to the kid. He's doing loads of sets of deadlifts. Look. Look at this. And as he pulls it up for his last one of his last sets, he drops the bar. He puts his hand on the bar and drops it on the floor, which obviously hurts the guy's wrist because I'm assuming he's got them wrapped up. And who does that? What, psych what kind of psychopath will do that to somebody? Especially an older dude doing that to a kid. Like, what is your problem? Is he the manager of the of the gym? Does he own it? Okay, fair. But still, there's a way to go about these sort of things and kind of, you know, stepping in front of somebody as they pull up a huge amount of weight and then placing your hand on a barbell as they're pulling. Like, come on. <laughs> insane in it insane they get into a verbal argument at the end the kid ends up leaving but it's just bizarre it's so bizarre. and i hope anyway i'm assuming this won't happen because we're living in a post-covid world right i'm assuming this won't be a thing but because you know no one wants to get near anybody no one's going to want to touch you right and start having conversations and shouting or whatever you know we all know about the droplets but it's just a weird person that does that in it don't you think that coming over because you're smashing the weights and again maybe i'm maybe i'm i'm off the mark here and I, and I don't know how annoying it can be when people are slamming weights on the floor but if i'm wrong let me know in the comments do you are you the type of person that goes over people and tells them off in the gym because they're doing something you don't like or do you just do like what most adults do and just you know get on with your own life mind your own business this is like the epiphany epitome of like a male carrot isn't it like so bothered about other because just so bothered because someone else is inconveniencing you that you have to go over and let them know to stop doing that thing that's making you feel inconvenienced. It's like, come on, man, get a life. God damn these people. But hey, what can you do?